What's going on guys, Dane here and welcome to a Wild o Wars and you know what's happening. First of all, can we just say we finally got the lights situated. Now I got a lot of camera settings to go through. I don't know if we're looking as crisp as we were a couple of days ago, but thank God you can see me now, man. You can see me now and I can see you and I know you. I know what you're here for. You're looking for something fresh, something new, something no one's talking about. We got Wild Wars on the docket in this game. You can't pay to win and you are looking at a PvP strategy game where you use little animals man these dudes right here they're chilling that one looks like dumb dog you know what i'm talking about you remember him i he's still around he's still around i still watch him time and time again but we got a game that dares to be different in the best way possible we're going to talk about what i mean by dares to be different as we go and you're going to see what i mean by it as well now i know i'm not normally up in the top left corner but here we are we have to be man there's reasons for it uh the man is in the bottom left corner and that's that's it there's no there's no real deeper meaning but we got a game where we have to build out in a rapid paced RTS. I know I'm covering the timer. We have five minutes from jumping in to this game to actually get anything done. Uh, five minutes until the overtime where we all start losing health on our castle. This is the style of game where you have to take out the enemy's castle in order to win something like a clash, but so much more than just a clash. So we're going to take this man's stuff out. That little tower over there that's kind of hurting us and you know while we're doing so we may as well take out his collector as well And we are doing so we're gonna bring out a couple of minions and he's gonna bring out a couple of minions and we are in a RTS that Kind of has a clash look to it Definitely not a clash of play style and we're just gonna spam out and take out his little tower right here and place one of our own in its stead and I feel pretty comfortable putting one out I feel like mine's gonna survive and his will not so we're gonna put one more dude out we're gonna make sure we take this tower out and while we do so we're gonna put a collector right here because we are that guy and we're gonna mess up everything that decides to show up and we are in full combat now there's a lot going on than just that you notice we just had a night cycle and when there is a night cycle you actually can't see anything the enemy puts down period you can't see anything the enemy has outside of you know what you can see in your field of vision something like a, you know a little bit of a command and conquer style a little bit of a warcraft style if you will full just intuitive full try hard and as we go we can upgrade our buildings as well right now i'm spamming out these archers i love them but we can do a lot better than a couple of archers can't we we can do a lot better than that so let's continue taking this stuff out continue grabbing this extra mana and now we can put down a building that's going to give us tier 2 units with these tier 2 units. And by the way, there are no microtransactions. You cannot pay to win in this game. You actually can't pay at all. I have not found a shop, period. It is all tryhard tactics. And it's, uh, it, they always play out 100% different, differently than the previous match that you play. That's just a by default. So we're going to upgrade one more time. We're in such a position of power. I'm going to make the move to actually pull out my tier 3 unit and see if we can get it out in a, a timely manner now the second my archer is gone i'm gonna let this dude get the final kill here and i'm gonna back off i'm gonna relieve pressure and tell my man to go over here tell him to grab a little bit of this mana run on back we're gonna build this did we already build it we did not we're gonna build a tier three building way back here where it's safe and while we do so we're gonna go ahead and put a protective tower right there you have different tiers of towers you always have the collectors that have to go on the nodes to collect and you have different tier buildings for construction. Now, the more you have out, for instance, right now I have two little uh, tier ones. I can build two at a time without wasting cooldowns. He's going to come over and actually just like waste mana trying to take out my collector, but that just ain't how this is going to work out. He's kind of in desperation mode. We're going to let him be. We're going to spawn our tier three unit, which is a <laughs> tank. And you already see where this is going. We can get a sniper out. We can do all kinds of crazy stuff and we can kind of go to war with him from there we can even get a healer out and she can't attack but she can heal any unit that we so tell her to now our people are in full-on assault mode this is not your typical clash this is not anything crazy like that this is full-on tactics a full-on try hard mode and full-on let's go ahead and take him out with only a minute left on the clock now this fool can go ahead and kill him easy money and we can go right back to messing up his tower we can even get a couple of these bombers out and we can tell him to go over to this tower right here, see if he even makes it. Even if he didn't, it doesn't matter too much. He did. That tower has been blown up at the cost of mana. Everything has a cost, and he just got his life costed from him. I am apologetic, Warlord, Ek, BG, whatever your name is, but them's the breaks. We're going to continue on, and that's Wild Wars. This game is goaded. It would make a beautiful 
PvP series, strategic through and through, no matches play out the same. Every unit has its place, whereas the flying units have to be taken out by, you know, range units or flying units. The tank has to be blown up by bombs. I promise you, the healer cannot attack. There's tanks. There's range units. There's strategy through and through, and it's fair without a single shot for you to find on your screen. I like this one a lot. This one gets full stamp of approval, full on why are you not playing it, full on get the heck in on this one, and you can probably find me in the Discord right after this. You might even find me gunning to be somewhere on this list. I'm just that person. This one, absolutely, chef's kiss, beautiful game. That's the first impression. What more do you want from me, man? As far as like what there is in the game right now, these are all new units. These are not like the ones that I have placed in. These don't take up slots. So we're going to be getting all these as we go along the trophy road and along just chest unlocks and stuff like that. We'll see if they add monetization. I hope they do because they need to sustain it. And that's all she wrote. Wild Wars. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what I get out of this one. Completely free to play. Perfect for anyone that likes to put their money where their mouth is and say they keep up. And with the whales without paying, well, keep up with me, man. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.